Oh, damn it it crashed oh wait no it didn't crash okay it's working what's now up, <laughs> what's up here. what's Dude, up people <laughs> what's up people joe winko here your favorite hawaiian guy and welcome to my kenshi live stream uh not sure if anyone's watching yet no one's typing anything in chat but i have no, kevin you got, three. you got three viewers oh yeah i just noticed that now yeah but i have kevin here with me and we're going to be continuing directly from where I left off with my squad trying to escape from the desert. Because we tried building a settlement in the desert, but then they tried taxing us. And then I straight up told them we're not paying taxes to live out in the fucking desert. So now I'm just going to send them back to the Shrieking Forest, the Northern Beach, and the Dinosaur Coast. And was that all of them? Is the Shrieking Forest not taxed? Oh no, they don't tax the Shrieking Forest. Like the Shrieking. Is it the slave guys who are taxing you? Um, it's the United Cities who are taxing me, actually. Mm. Yeah, they're the ones that own all the. You mean the ones that own the slaves? Yeah. Yeah, they're the ones that were taxing me because um, the Shrieking Forest. It's like it doesn't have any major towns or cities in it and everything because like it's overrun by the Shrieking Bandits but I have a mod that reduces the number of them and <laughs> yeah the only reason why I went to the Shrieking Forest is because I read online that the land was very like fertile and had a lot of uh, resources out there but it's not really as fertile as I thought it would be that's what the wiki site told me so the wiki site lied to me <laughs> Except for this one place by, uh, by, by this lake that I built my walls around that the cannibals managed to tear down, but I have a mod that reduces the number of the cannibals. I hate the cannibals. Those things creep me out. Yeah. The only, um, the only, like, uh, crazy people, the enemies I like in this game, I mean, I don't really like the Shrieking Bandits because they're, like, extremely powerful. And they have, like, weapons that can cause some major damage, even if you're leveled up really good. But, um, the Shrieking Bandits, and then also, 
also the dust bandits because most of the the dust bandits and the starving bandits because most of the people in my squad used to be dust bandits until we captured all of them good shit yeah so all right so our wild animals are catching up to us they're like way behind right now i did level them up but they're carrying all of our stuff so that's the reason why i'm worried about them right now they're in the squad yeah they are i can control them just like the people why don't you make an own their own squad for animal um well the reason why is because i wanted them all to stay together for organization purposes but also mm -hmm. the reason why they're all in the same squad is because like i recruited them and they ought to, i just recruited them recently really oh yeah so i'm thinking about like uh i have them split up into five squads but gonna send them all back to is that is that how far we got damn we barely got far at all all right i'm gonna send them back to the northern coast yeah that's where i'm gonna send them all to gonna drop off some of the people there and have them stay at the northern coast because i don't really want to build any more they're still carrying the weak guys i just leveled that's all those guys up <laughs> Hang on, I have another response. Uh. Oh, no one's so, typing. So you're gonna try to escape the the desert? Oh yeah, it it will be really easy, really. I mean, we're pretty far in the desert, but carrying? we're carrying one of our new recruits, even though I technically don't need to carry them at all. That's the thing, because I already hacked the files and leveled them up. They were really weak at first, and when, when you don't hack the character's files, they don't run as fast. So that's the reason why I carry them, so they can keep up with us. Oh. It's the animals I'm a bit worried about. Not sure if I can carry them. Can I? Let me see if you can. Oh, wait, you actually can? Damn, okay. Alright, so let me have... Let me have them all... Oh, damn, they're, they're way faster than the animals are. I'll have them all wait out there. Oh shit, I forgot. They're all following Joe. Oops. Alright, that's the button to select all of them. Damn, how far ahead did they all get? Alright, I'll have them all meet there. I don't want them to backtrack too much. It really did not take them that much time to run to get out of that desert. Damn, did you tear down the walls? The walls? Oh yeah, I tore down everything um, that we built. We had like a, we didn't have any walls built out in the desert. I mean, cause we really only, the only base settlement I ever really needed walls in was the Shrieking Forest because there's so many damn Shrieking Bandits everywhere. But um, we didn't like, uh, we didn't really need any walls at the desert cause there's hardly like any bandits or monsters out here to attack us. But, uh, we did, um, but, like, the people did come and try to tax us, and that's when I just decided, okay, let's tear everything down and leave. And looks like my teammates are getting attacked right now. I have no idea what they're, oh, wait, they're out of trouble now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're super tough, that's why. So you're going back to base? Yeah. Oh, it's a bone dog that attacked us? Are you going to improve the settlement? Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I think the one that I'm going to focus most on is, uh, is probably the, are they eating him? Oh. Yeah, I think the one that... Johnny stole the gun? Huh? Does Johnny stole the gun? Yeah, he's not with us right now, though. Oh, uh, well, how do guns work in the game? Are they good? I actually haven't tried using them yet, to be honest. 
I guess it's because I wanted to conserve the ammunition, but uh, I'm going to be testing that out in this live stream. going to try to. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. The shotgun, I want to see if it has muzzle flash. That'd be <laughs> it would be, honestly. And like if their body explodes. <laughs> like their head, if you shoot them in the head, if it... Alright, they're all following Joe right now, so I'm gonna tell... Oh, looks like they were attacked by bandits. <laughs> they didn't stand a chance against us, though. Alright, back to the northern coast. That's where I'm gonna send all of them. What the hell? Why didn't those... Oh, shit, I forgot to tell them to follow... Hold on one second. I forgot to tell the new recruits to follow Joe. Shouldn't take them too long to get back. Okay, so... Zim... Follow Joe. Oh, you're then, carrying the animal. Yeah. Then Gecko. Oh, they have lights on them too. Awesome. Follow Joe. Alright, now they should all follow me to the northern coast. Finally. Yeah, hang on. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna mute my mic so I can uh, smoke. Okay. Because I'm gonna start coughing. So I'm gonna mute my mic. Okay. Feeling alright? <coughs> we. Alright. <coughs> well, we finally escaped the desert. It didn't take us very long. Where's this area? That's cool. That's the bass. <coughs> right now, we're heading. We're heading towards the northern beach settlement. Oh, shit. I like this area. That's really sick. It is. I think a lot of cannibals hang out here, though. <clears throat> I would imagine. It looks like hell. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Trying to figure out why Joe just stopped there. So I think we have enough settlements here. I mean, I remember you said earlier that I should do a live stream of us battling uh, against the cannibals and the cannibal planes. That would be really cool ideal, honestly. I just need to download a mod so the cannibals stop spawning. It's just the only thing is, like, the mod also affects the bandits too, and they eventually stop spawning if you kill all them. And I like the bandits, because that's how I got so many members on our team with the Recruit Prisoners mod. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I need to figure out where the rest of the ancient science books are. Been trying to find those. No one's chatted yet, but it's also 6 o'clock in the fucking morning. Yeah, true. Which I, I don't mind, I don't have to respond to chat. Yeah. Plus, you get a Joe Winko gaming live stream, though. Huh? I said you get a Joe Winko gaming live stream, though, blood. Yeah. <laughs> For the Kenji series. Oh, yeah. That's always awesome. It is. Okay, looks like we made it back to our beach settlement. Not sure who I'm going to leave here, though. I mean, I want to take... Or should I just take all of them back to the Shrieking Forest? Holy crap. I didn't notice that we had prisoners. Well, duh, of course we had prisoners. 
and they're all running around like adding food to the food storage bins because like I, I think I had like a lot of them carrying uh, the dried meat or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know where to send them to. I'm gonna send them all to. Yeah, if I don't immediately respond, it's because I'm doing shit in this game. Oh, okay. But I'm, lo I'm looking at it. I'm following your comment there. Yeah. So, gonna send them yeah, to I'm our. <laughs> I'm gonna send them to our settlement up at the Laverian coast. That's oh, the one. Oh, you have one there now? Shit, when did you do that? I did that... Were you watching when I did that one? Was I on for the stream? Have you had one since I've been on? I can't remember the exact date I built the one up there, but... It's been up for... Not too long, but I can't res remember exactly when. I should have sworn that I remember you watching us. I mean, it's the yeah. one that had all the dinosaurs around it. Nah, I don't remember that settlement. How many are you at? How many settlements am I at, or how many people? Uh, settlements. I'm at uh four settlements right now. Used to have one out in the desert, but then I tore it down when they tried taxing us. So you, that was the fifth one. Yeah, the desert one was the fifth one. Now we only have four, which is enough, really. Yeah, once you hit probably like more people, it's gonna be you're gonna need more. Oh yeah, because they... if you're gonna have like, two hundred. 256. Yeah. Like, let me see how many squad members I have now. I think I'm at 60 right now. 67. Exactly. Yeah. I liked the Shrieking Forest area, really only because it was really pretty, but I like this area too because we got like a lot of food up here with the wild raptors running around and everything. And we're still Damn a right. long way from there, from the outposts. Why are they walking so slow? Damn. Oh, that guy that I'm carrying is a new recruit that I found uh, in one of the southern cities. And there's a dinosaur. Luckily, they're not hostile at all. Dinosaurs? Well, the ones in this game aren't. I believe that they're herbivore dinosaurs, so yeah. Damn. Are there any carnivorous dinosaurs? Not really. I mean, not in this game, really. I mean, we do get the raptors, but they really don't attack until we attack them first, really. What about the wolves? I never seen a wolf in this game. Oh, the wait, dogs? yeah. The, oh, you mean the bone dogs. Um, We don't get them up here. We only get those, like, in... Uh, only by the beaches we get those, but we don't get them up here. It's just a bunch of dinosaurs everywhere. Damn. And here's our settlement that we built. On an island? That's cool. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah. Yeah, I was there. I remember this one. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty awesome. I didn't see it get built, but I saw this one. Yeah. Okay, so let me have them put down the animals. Yeah, I didn't know that they were able to carry the animals with them. That's pretty awesome. Well, they should be able to, really. And put down our new recruits. Yeah. And now I have to tell all of them to stop following Joe everywhere. 
Wish there was like a way you could like cycle through each of the members, like a quick key or something. <laughs> I tried looking up if there if there was, but I never found out that there if there was or not. What's wrong with Russo? Oh, Russo's laying down right now. And what's wrong with Reggie? Oh, Reggie's injured for some reason. Not sure how he got injured, but let me see. Don't we have like any beds or something? Oh yeah, we do. Oh, he did get injured, shit. Huh? He did. He got injured. Yeah, I'm not sure how he did. It's weird. Lots of micromanaging in this game. It is like The Sims, really. Yeah, that game is just like The Sims, really. <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone on Reddit was saying. It's like The Sims it's mixed with Morrowind. Sims. Yeah, like a more violent Sims with Morrowind. Yeah. Damn, what the hell? All these damn raptors everywhere. I hate the raptors, they get annoying, really. <coughs> yeah, that's why... <coughs> that's kind of the reason why I had to build, like, the fence around, uh... Around where we live, so... I don't know where the guys ran off to. Oh. Oh, yeah, they're collecting the meat from the raptors, because that's the job that I assigned them to. Weird. Oh yeah, the animals do fight with each other, that's what I noticed. Okay, so, um... There's all the damn raptors again. Shit, are they trying to break open the fence? Whoa. This is big news. I didn't know that they could do that. Hold on, let me take them out. They shouldn't be doing that. I would have built stronger walls if I would have knew that they could break through the fence. And one of them got in? Alright, so we have to repair those now. Damn. Stupid raptors. Well, I'm not sure it, what those things are. I'm not sure if those are raptors or not. I think... Yeah, those are swamp raptors. Do they, they attack your, your wild... your animal? They don't attack... well, I don't think they do. I mean, they haven't yet. I mean, They're let me see... They're attacking your fence. Yeah, they're attacking the fence because they want to get in and eat the the crops that we were growing. Damn. You can't have that. Yeah. And Jimmy is injured. And Adonis is injured. Alright, so I'm going to... Oh, yeah, I guess we finally get to see how guns work in this game. It's the damn raptors that keep attacking us over and over again. I hate how they can tear through the walls. That gets annoying. So, anyhow, let me see if I could... Okay, so... Walls... Defensive wall. I'm gonna build like a whole bunch of defensive walls around this whole settlement. We should have enough. The blue arrows is uh 
face the enemies. <coughs> I'm going to have a lot of gates, too, so they can get in and out. I mean, because the Shrieking Forest settlement only had, like, one gate in and out, but since we're just protecting from animals here, we only need, like, one gate. So, let me just add a defensive gate. What the hell? Why did it do that? Shit. Okay, one second. Yeah, I mean, I'm laying out the where I want the walls to be. It can get a bit complicated sometimes, but it isn't too difficult. I mean, I never thought I'd have to use a wall to keep wild animals out, but... Yeah, because I didn't need the walls at the beach settlement, mm -hmm. and the forest settlement doesn't have any walls around it either. Oh shit, did not mean to do that. Okay, now I have to do it all over again. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so, is it... Yeah, it's walls. Defensive wall. It didn't take me too long, luckily. Oh, you gotta do it again, shit. Yeah, because I accidentally pushed the escape button. Okay, so it's plus or minus to change the height. So I'm gonna make the walls, like, really tall. That's the lesson I learned from when I built the Shrieking Forest settlement. And now I just need to build a gate. Hopefully it builds right. Okay, so... Okay, I'm getting it. What the hell? Where my pizza go? This is my fucking pizza. Six oh six in the morning. Watch Joe Winko play <laughs> catch. Unemployed, rocking out. <laughs> yeah. Damn it! There are characters in the way. What the hell do you? Damn it! Are you serious? It's not gonna let us build, cause. All right, hold on. Guess we have to get rid of the get rid of the damn monsters, or wait for them to run another way. Oh, they're leaving. Okay, so now let me go back into build mode. <laughs> this is like The Sims. It's funny. Yeah, it actually is. Yeah. Okay, so the defensive gate. Now 
Okay, so now it's time to add in another defensive wall. If I can. Plus sign to make it tall. Okay. Alright, looks like I'm getting it. Just have to make sure not to hit escape again accidentally. needs more level. What the hell do you mean? It's so complicated. I know, right? Alright, well, I got it to work. I mean... And now let me just click confirm. Alright, they, they're all saying that they don't have any building materials, but let me select all the others. Let's start building it. We should have enough to build all those. Hopefully it doesn't take them too long, but yeah. Because <laughs> we do have like a ton of materials because earlier we built like... Okay, so they got one wall built so far. Oh wow, the animals are pretty tough. They were able to take down that uh, that raptor without needing help from the humans. <laughs> Damn, girl. <laughs> Damn, girl. Yeah, happy about that. So is Chris Tucker. <laughs> Who was Chris Tucker again? Um, I mean... I know I heard that name before, but... The damn girl. <laughs> He's like, you gotta knock the fuck out, Rodney. Oh, I see. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to fuck Chris Tucker? <laughs> Chris Tucker, I would. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Proud to admit it. <laughs> okay. It is what it is. Yeah. So. So sexy. Yeah, go on. Oh, it's auto saving. That's a good thing. Are you dealing with merchants right now? With what? Merchant. Uh, it looks like, well, I don't think those are merchants. Like, every now and then we have these random people who walk by us. They don't really do anything or ask us for anything or offer to barter with us. They just walk by. I didn't think Maybe there were any. They're huh? fellow adventurers. Yeah, I guess so. Are there any other settlements, or are they just... 
Well, there's no settlements up in this part of the map. I mean, like, the only settlement places that, like, really have settlements are, like, around the hub. Well, there is one by the northern beach, but that's just the fishing village, really. Like, um... Like, well, there's actually a lot of settlements, really, but not... Not around this area or the Shrieking Forest. Like, it makes sense for them not to have sh settlements in the Shrieking Forest because it's, like, overrun by the crazy bandits. And damn, there's so many of them. I see all the red dots that represents an enemy. Jeez, what wow. the hell? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Okay, so is that all of them, or...? Because I thought they... I thought they all had building materials left. I'm, they should have, like, a lot more than that. Alright, let me check the inventory of the two gurus we have. I know that I gave... Yeah, I did give all of them our building materials. One second. I have no idea... I have no idea what it's doing right now. It's just... Doing a weird animation, but hold on one second. Oh shit, Joe, give me a second. I gotta mute. Okay. That's alright. So I basically have to like click all the members and have them like manually run over to the Garu to pull out the building materials. I mean you think there would have been an easier way of doing that, but yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. That's the awesome thing about the animals, though. They can carry, like, tons of stuff. Surprised I didn't think of getting them earlier. They're almost done building the walls. I guess. Oh, I gotta clean my apartment before this fuck inspection. Okay. Well. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna go for, for well, a bit. I'll call, I'll call you later on today. All right. Thanks for watching. Hell yeah! I always love your country streams. I'll keep it running. Okay. I'm sorry. I would have fucking stayed, but I, I'm so tired. I gotta get it done. Oh, it's all right. Yeah. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop out, I'm gonna hop off. Okay. Alright, word later. See ya. <laughs> so, anyone in chat right now? You guys are being awfully quiet.
Hi Maverick Mac, how are you doing? So I'm almost done building the walls around our settlement here. I'm hoping we have enough building materials, but I'm pretty sure that certain that we do. I probably should have saved these building materials for the Shrieking Forest, though. But I... Eh, this place needed them just as much as the Shrieking Forest. How are you doing, Marvrick Mac? Come on, we're only too short, and they're still not done yet. I mean, I know they have more than just that. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, let me check if there's like a storage bin here or something. Damn, it doesn't look like there is. Shh. Eh, could just dismantle a makeshift wall. That'll give us a... Uh, that was easy for them to...
seem to have got it. Aw, thanks, Marvick. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I live streamed Kenshi. It's been too long, really. These past couple of days have been a bit stressful, like with my adoptive dad's brothers and everything, but they've been keeping away. I'm happy about that. Pretty sure you already know how that sto story goes. So right now I'm just building a wall around my uh, base, well finishing up one actually, around my base um, at the Letharian coast, I think that's how, what they call it. Alright, we finally finished it, so let me get all of them inside. hope those stupid monsters don't try tearing down the wall. I was trying to find... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Just curious, do you live in the USA? Oh, damn it, it's a swamp raptor. Well, the gurus can eat that. How the hell did swamp raptors get all the way this far north on the map? Like, we're a long way from the small swamp. I never go into the swamp because, like, um... Because the loading screens are so long.
hopefully the animals actually eat the meat that I gave them. Looks like one of them has at least. Or, oh wait, none of them have. Damn it. So I'm only going to send them out hunting when they're like low on food. Let me have Johnny 2x4 like tear down this whole fence. Since we don't really need it anymore. Oh, I love Pennsylvania. It's been a while since I've been there. I did do a video in Erie, Pennsylvania a long time ago. <laughs> oh, we need to build another food store. Was he able to pick that up? Oh yeah, he was. Okay, so... Storage... Um... Food storage... Is that the only one? I mean, I think with the other one, animal feeder, crossbow chest, general storage boxes, shop counter, green fruit, iron plates, meat, ore, skins, stone, stand. Shit. Well, okay. Gosh, they have so much food, that's not even funny. And it's already full? Wait a second, it's not full! Yeah, even more micromanaging.
Caesar Tizar. Never heard of that game before. What was it about? Sounds interesting. Holy shit. That thing is full. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, I never played that before. Was it on PC? Sounds like fun, really. Kind of reminds me of SimCity 4. It's been a while since I played that. It's been too long since I played that. Have been wanting to play that again, though. It's an old game from the late 90s. Oh, that sounds really cool. Were you actually able to see like individual people in the game? Or was it just like building the cities or something? I mean, I guess if it was from the 90s, you couldn't really see the people very well. But not necessarily.
This has to be like the most crowded settlement I've ever built in this game. Damn swamp monsters better not be trying to get in again. Thing is full. Are all of these full? Oh wait, no, they aren't. They all aren't. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of how Kenshi is. Not sure how our animals are doing. I mean, looks like they're both really hungry, even though we already fed them like quite a bit. I mean, they have the raw meat, I mean the foul meat in their inventory. Think we have to build like an animal feeder or something? So food, bread oven, cooking stove, grain silo, farming, storage, animal feeder. They only need one building material to build it, so have Isaac take care of that. Oh, you can get it off of Steam. Uh, it was actually my friend Kevin who got it for me. I think it's um, it should be on sale now. Not sure how much it is, but I I remember hearing reading online that it's on sa for sa on sale now. get more cotton.
deal. I'm going to send Joe Winko and Gecko to the Northern Beach settlement because there's also some uh, slaves that we want to recruit. And we also need like a lot more cotton before we can start our cotton farm here. Not sure how much we need, but the slaves can help us carry it back. Why the hell is he running that way? Wait a second, is there a way that he can climb the fence? Holy shit, I did not even notice that. Alright. Damn it. Okay. Let me dismantle this fence. I mean, since it's not built right. Okay, so now... Let me build another wall. Damn, they make this complicated. Shit. Oh, sorry about your dad, Marvrick. What color bandanas do you usually wear? Just curious. I had no idea that there was an opening in the wall that I built. Where the hell are they all running out running out to? Sending Joe to the northern forest. Well, not the northern forest, but to the northern coast settlement. Might get to recruit more slaves while we're there, too.
And let me just close this gate. We don't want any monsters getting in. Okay, so finally. Oh yeah, I love the color red too, honestly. It matches my skin tone the most. That's why I always wear it. I think my blood sugar is probably high right now, so I'm just gonna check it. It was low earlier and I was out of it. I hate diabetes, it's the worst. Okay, so it's heading back through the northern forest. Yeah, just stretching a lot. <laughs> a bit tired.
waiting for my character to get to the northern forest. Right now we're running through the Cannibal Plains. This area is pretty, but... Yeah. Oh, I forgot that I didn't have it on um, full speed. That's why it's taking them so long to get there. It's not taking them too long. I'm doing okay, Maverick. I, I, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name right. Forgive me if I'm not. Oh, looks like we discovered an abandoned town. Hopefully we're able to pick up a lot of cotton from here. I mean, I know that they auto-haul all of it to, um... Okay, so we finally made it to the northern coast. I know that they auto-haul all of it... ...to this thing. We need, like, 40. That's how many we needed. Oh, wow. Okay, we definitely have enough. What the hell is Joe doing? Hey, 
appreciate it when the, when he does that. He's running back to put the cotton away. We need the cotton. I wonder if there's a way to turn off auto hauling for one member. Let me look that up real quick. Okay, so I... Okay, we recruited a starving bandit. What do you think I should name him? I'll leave it open until I get a suggestion. Let me look up South American names, actually. Um, Jose, Carlos. Do I have a person named Carlos? I feel like I already do. Um, Julian. Oscar. Pedro. I don't think I used the name Pedro. Or Nemo. Nemo or Pedro. Any mini my Nemo. Catch a shaker by a toe. Eh. He looks more like a Pedro to me, but I'll name the next one Nemo. <laughs> Pedro. Or. Actually, no, I will name him Nemo. <laughs> Okay, let me see if, uh, hey, options, gameplay, dismemberment, town attack frequency, fewer, town raid frequency. Okay, so show character names, gameplay, damn it, how does it, are you sure you want to exit, oh, oh shit, did I, Shit, how the fuck did I do that? Alright. I meant exit the menu, not exit the game. Damn. I'm not myself today, am I? Hopefully that didn't set me too far back. Six thirty nine.
All right, let's see how far back that set me. Damn. That was the stupidest mistake I've ever made in Kenshi. Geesh. It's okay, we can still, like, recruit our prisoner, because, like, we captured him before the save, but... <laughs> Gosh. Oh yeah, we still had all the walls built. Good. So it didn't set us too far back. But we still need to build a wall here again, as I already did earlier. So defensive wall. Okay, I remember what I did here. One second. So we're going to dismantle this wall. Have Joe dismantle it, I should say. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Okay, so go back into build mode. And we're going to build the defensive wall all over again. Looks like we're being attacked over at the Shrieking Forest. I keep thinking of Harry Potter whenever I say that. that damn wall. Alright, finally. Alright, we got it built. And let me save my game.
Okay, so... Now I'm gonna send Joe and Rufus to, wait, well, not Rufus. <laughs> I didn't have a character named Rufus. It's Joe and Gecko. That's who I had. I wanna give Gecko the large backpack though. That's what I did earlier in my last straight save before I accidentally deleted it. Stupid mistake on my part, but whatever. Unlock the defensive gate. Send Joe and Gecko outside the walls. And let's have. Where the fuck is Chad? Alright, I'm gonna have Chad close and lock the defensive gate. Meanwhile, we'll have Joe run to the Northern Beach settlement. I just needed to turn that off. Okay, so they're on their way to the beach settlement right now. <laughs> yeah, I do need to save more often. I won't make that mis mistake again, luckily.
Okay, so... Let me see if he... So they're both carrying the cotton. Good. They needed that. Now let's see if they can recruit the prisoner. Again. <laughs> Nemo. Yeah, so you said that you wanted me to name him Nemo, so that's what I'll name him. Darn it, trying to get her to join us. Alright, so... Alright, do we have any prisoners that we captured here? Doesn't look like we do. Not in that tower, at least. Let me check this one. Oh, there's no one there. Okay, so we got Nemo to join us. I'm going to have to level him up. But first, let's have him carry a lot of cotton back with him. Oh, I think I already gave him the food. Okay. Yeah, I did. Damn, it takes up so much space in their inventory.
have Joe try talking to her. Can you torture prisoners? Um, actually you can, but I try to get them to join us, though. I don't torture them ever. <laughs> I mean, like, you can beat them up and, like, kill them and everything, but I try not to do that. Alright, what should I name him? I'm going to turn him to a guy, but... Oh, well, I'll name him Pedro. Yeah, she can help us carry the cotton back to the to the to um the coast to the dinosaur coast. I forgot how to pronounce it again, but yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck is Gecko? Gosh, she does a horrible job of following Joe. Okay, so let's send them back to the... Back to the Lefarian coast, or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, you're able to torture prisoners in the game. We never do it, though, because we always want them to join us. Still trying to figure out where to find ancient science books. Because we need a lot of those to level the people, I mean, to build stronger walls and stronger uh, gates, defense gates. people getting attacked again 
Oh, damn, more bandits? Oh, yeah, they didn't stand a chance against us, did they? Let me see if any of them are still alive. Damn, they're dead. Are they all dead? Gosh. Oh, wait, one of them's still alive. Let me have Spike help him. What about these guys? Are any of them still alive? Yeah, they're dead. Only one of them survived. Oh, damn. Gosh. Okay, so let's take him to, to take this guy to the tower, if he is a guy. Let's put him in the cage. Oh, that's a female. Eh, I can hack files and turn it into a guy. Wow, he has a sword. Alright, that one's a male, though. Okay, so while we're up here, let me build like a a place to, what is it, a general storage chest?
Alright, so two bandits managed to survive our defense. Let's see where... Did Joe ever make it back? Oh, he did. And who the fuck is that? Oh, it doesn't look like they're after us. Oh, they're trying to kill the dinosaur. Okay, never mind. I wish it was more likely for the bandits to survive whenever we fight back against them. Someone uh, uh, told us that we should not use such sharp weapons. That's probably a good idea, really. How do I put him down? God, he's skinny. Okay, so let me see if we can get like a cotton storage thing. Storage, cotton. We only need one building material to build that. We have a whole bunch. Thank God that's auto saving. <laughs> what do you mean you can't pick that up? Oh, he has no space in his inventory.
have Chad help with the farming. Alright, got it. Let me just save my game real quick. very fast, are they? Oh yeah, I was going to get Rolf some pants. I just remembered that. Is that all he has? Not gonna lie, he looked better without them, but whatever. Okay, so we have, um, thing is huge. <laughs> All right. 
right, let me see. Let me save my game. Hi, Zachary the Curse. And let me see the Le Leviathan Coast. So let me call it Joe Winko's La Via Fen Coast Settlement. Is that how it shows up on the map? I mean, I'm not sure if I ran out of space there. Shit, did not mean to type that. Huh. Let's try and make it only have one T at the end. Well, whatever. Okay, so farming, food, I know that one of them had like raw meat, I mean foul meat, from the raptors that we killed earlier. I can't figure out which one it is. How are you doing, Zachary the Z-Curse?
That's good. I'm doing okay. Okay, so let me save my game. Not sure how much longer I'm going to be playing. Oh, I'm already at two hours right now. Can everyone watching this live stream, can you guys all hope that my adoptive dad's brothers, that they disappear forever and never come back, please? I just want to say that, I mean, that was just one thing that came to my mind. I'd really appreciate it if you all did. I hate them. Thank you, Zachary, the Z curse. Let me see how things are going at the Shrieking Forest. Oh, okay, so these are all the ones who are who are at the Shrieking Forest. Oh wow. Okay, so how the hell did they get inside the gates? Let's trade. I wish, I hope there's a mod that like stops them from running away the moment you try to talk to them seriously. That gets so annoying.
Okay, let me see how they got in, because now they're running away. <laughs> that doesn't do us any good. Oh, they're outside. Okay. I thought they got into the gates. Alright, well. Yeah, that was a waste of time. I need to have more than one guard out here. Oh, okay, not Pluto. Pluto has other stuff to do. Let me check if there's any prisoners that are alive. Oh yeah, I keep them all in here, I forgot. I might send Joe back here. Just need to get him some food. Well, I don't need to get Joe food, but I need to get the prisoner some food so he joins us. Join me, but we have to do something about that face first. Okay. Alright, so we got a new member to join us. What do you think I should name him? Hi gaming with a blue face. What do you think I should name this guy? He just joined our team. <laughs> Let me give him a European name. Or a Greek male name. Or, no, Scandinavian. He's blonde. <laughs> Don't want to name him. Wait, did I name anyone Wade? Ivar. I'll name him Ivar. How's he doing? Oh, he's hungry, and his arm is really bad. Okay, so we gave him some food. Mm, 
Marvel's out there by himself. What are the other guys doing? I only want the ones with the blunt weapons to attack, like Cole. Is anyone following him? Oh no, they're not. We need to set up more a bunch of lights at this camp, really. Well, at the settlement, I should say. So we have them guarding the guarding the fence, I mean the gate. Now let's see, where do we need to build the outdoor lamps? Definitely need to build those by the crops. So Lights, light posts, So, which one of them has, like, oh, it's Armstrong that has it, okay. that gate isn't I hope that gate isn't too short I mean that wall isn't too short that oh, doesn't look like it is alright that's good
I don't know why the inside of my nose is like really itchy. What the hell? Okay, which one of them? It was Marvel that has them. Okay, so I'll have him build the rest of the spotlight. Still think it's funny how they have to swim across a huge lake to get to the other side of their settlement. What the fuck is that? Oh, um, I, I thought for a moment there that the wall was broken, but it isn't. didn't really give off much light, did it? Not as much as I hoped for. This really is a cool settlement though, I will say that. This is probably my favorite, most favorite one. Okay.
Oh, that's a nice light. I like that one. I hope the gate is closed. Yeah, it is. Or is it? Oh, damn, there's a shrieking bandit. Oh, they have enough uh, electrical components to build all of those. Let's have a uh, mosey take him out. Oh, is he dead? Yep, he is. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Cleo's here. Let's try building um, a light. But seriously, everyone, can you all hope that my adoptive dad's brother brothers never return to this house again? I hate both of them, and I want them gone forever. I mean, I, it's not even funny, really. It really isn't. I just thought of them again. They're really not good people. Thank you. Thank you, Zachary. Alright, so we just need to build a light by here. Now, where the hell are the... Oh, there they are. Is that them? Oh yeah, that's them right there.
Okay, so this is what like I kind of always needed lights at my at my shrieking forest settlement because it gets like way too dark here. Okay, I got it. Damn it, they don't have any more iron plates left? Oh, Armstrong has a whole bunch. Damn, they hardly have any. That's what we need to... Next time the trade caravan comes, that's what we need to pick up from them. Okay, there. Awesome. So Cole and Armstrong are going to be in charge of uh, guarding the gate. Unless I send another one of them out there. Okay, so, yeah, not much else is going on from here.
let's throw this guy into the corpse disposal. Yeah, those lights make things a lot easier, really. <laughs> Let's hope Cleo doesn't accidentally kill the Shrieking Bandit, because I would love to get him to join us. He has a non-blunt weapon. I mean, he has, like, a non-sharp weapon, so that's a good thing. Cleo does, at least. Did he die? Oh, yep, he did die. Huh, bummer. Looks like Cole and Armstrong are getting attacked. But they should be able to take it. I guess. Let me see who they're getting attacked by. Oh, more of those damn Shrieking Bandits? Well, duh. I mean, it is the Shrieking Forest, after all. Let me see if any of these guys are still alive. Well, one of them's alive, but he's crawling away. We can't really do anything with him. Yeah, they're all dead. Yeah, they're all dead. Okay, so... Okay, so, not sure why the Garus aren't eating at all, it's weird.
Raji still doesn't have any pants. Weird. So, I'm thinking about setting up a settlement probably within the purple sands, so it probably would be a good place. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, it's not too far from the Shrieking Forest. We just need a lot more building material, that's the only thing. See how they're doing. Oh, damn. Those bandits are still alive. So he's... Yeah, but they're all males. I mean, all females, so... <laughs> And let me just put them out of their misery. Let's have Picard put them out of their misery. But if any of them manage to survive, then I'll make sure to... What the hell? Why isn't he doing anything? Let's have Cyrus do it then. Are they all just standing there? All right, we got all of them. Let's check on the people. Oh yeah, did we capture any prisoners here? Let me see if we have. And the forest settlement. This is like my most forgotten about settlement that I've created, really. I mean, I didn't want it to be too far away from the post camp, so. Oh, okay, that guy's awake. Let me get some food for him. Yeah, because you need to have food for them to join you. Hopefully the mod works. Thank you, Maverick. I'm glad you guys like it. <laughs> it's always fun playing this game and having you guys watch me. What the hell? He's just insulting us? Alright, join me, but we'll need to do something about that face first. Okay, his hair color is unnatural. If his skin is that dark, he's gonna have... He's gonna have dark colored hair, too. I guess sometimes that could happen if there's like a certain form of albinism, but yeah. Alright, what should I name this man?
I'll just wait till I get a suggestion. <laughs> Or actually, let me choose one. Axel. Or, he, lol, he looks like a Salvador. Oh, Salvador. Yeah, that'd be, that would be a cool name for him. Salvador. Salvador. Okay. All right, so there should be a bed up here that I can put him in. No one in those cells at all. Oh, here's the bed. Let me just take those things that he has. And let him... Yeah, it's weird. In this game, they sleep with their eyes open. <laughs> Didn't really notice that till now. <laughs> so we have like a whole bunch of people we need to level level up. Ivar, El Salvador, Salvador, and Pedro and Nemo. I'll figure out a place to send all of them. And, yeah. Gosh, <laughs> those people are all dead. this person, these people are still out in the water. I should see if there's a mod where you're able to pick up like injured people and put them in cages. That'd be really awesome.
Okay, it looks like the cotton is starting to grow. That's a good thing. So is the green fruit. Let me check the inventory to see how many green fruits we have harvested. Oh gosh, we harvested 250? Okay. Well, we have enough to build a... Alright, so farming... <laughs> Didn't we already build a large one? Uh, yeah, we did. Okay. I didn't realize that we had that many green fruits, damn. And Joe has like tons of cotton. We need to build a stove so we can start like cooking with the green fruit. I can't believe I didn't build that yet. Jeesh. Alright, I'll build it right now. Food. Cooking stove. We need two iron plates. Damn it. <laughs> Not sure if we have any, but I'll see if we do. Do any of them have iron plates? Oh, Russo does. Awesome. Okay, so... Water, cactus, green fruit, and water. to build another food storage.
Just gonna follow him around and see what he's doing, really. I mean, is he actually using the stove, or... Why is he moving it all there? He should be... Finally, he seems to be getting the point now. Okay, good. So let me move him from squad 5 to squad 4. Oh, we have 71 squad members. Awesome. Let me just save my game. Okay, so we need to also build a fabric machine. We could build that on the rooftop. Or, eh, no, well, yeah, on this rooftop would be better. chess that thing is oh wait it's not that big never mind all right we need four iron plates to build this though
we finish that. Now we just need to build this. And we have a uh, DeSoto. Okay, he's gotten it. Yeah, my goal is to keep all these guys busy. Doing a pretty decent job, I guess. Okay, awesome. Okay, so... Failed? What the hell? Looks like they're under attack at the farmhouse. Oh, by bone dogs. Now, which one of them has a medical kit? Oh, none of them do. Damn it. Well, Orville doesn't. Does Jared have one? Damn it, none of them have like advanced medical kits? Alright. I'll have Bard 
hard to take the medical role. One of them has to. Let me save again. Let me see if any of the prisoners woken up yet. Looks like one of them has, but the other one doesn't look like he's doing so well. Let me check on him. Oh, he's unconscious for 8,000 seconds. send um, Levitt down to the northern coast and talk to one of the recruits, the one that's awake right now. Damn, bandits? <laughs> Let's have him take them all out. <laughs> it's like the Power Rangers almost. That bitch got served. Alright, let me see if any of them managed to survive that. Alright, nope. These ones are all dead. All of them are dead. Well, duh. Of course they would. Well, that sucks, really.
he doesn't have a medical kit, so... Eh, you know what? I'm just gonna leave them there. I mean, gosh. They attacked me while I was on my own, and... Actually, let me take them back with, anyway. Don't have to backtrack. Oh, wow. On day 70 so far. A hundred days is a year in Kenshi. <laughs> yeah, he is a beast. He was able to take them all out. That's how most of my squad members are. They're super powerful. Damn, are those all the cages? I know that there's more. Oh, damn, he's dead? Well, I tried. I guess it's the corpse furnace for him. And that's why I need to get them, like, medical kits, seriously. Oh, there's one right here. Okay. Well, next time that hopefully won't happen again. I forgot to grab some food. Knew I was forgetting something. What the hell? Oops.
eventually this person's going to be turned into a man. What do you think I should name name him? Actually, I know what to name him. Pilar. Yeah, Pilar. Okay, now back to the Eastern Forest House. I think Pilar was actually a female name, but yeah, well it makes sense because she is a female, but I, but I plan on turning her into a guy. <laughs> oh, that's alright. Okay, we got her back to the house. I mean, to the settlement. To the forgotten farm settlement, I should call it. Doesn't Polo have an advanced splint kit? He should. Yeah, he does.
Seems like they rarely ever get attacked by bandits around this area for some reason. Didn't really notice that. Okay, so we have 72 squad members. We're not really quite at 100 yet, but I want to build like more squads like between, I mean more settlements like between the squad mates. So they're not like cut off from each other. Thinking about building one in the purple sands. But we're going to need to like pick up a lot of building materials for that. How long have I been streaming for? Mm, three hours. Well, um... I'm actually gonna... Well, first, there's some notes I need to take real quick. <laughs> I need to know what squad members I need to level up. second didn't I level him up oh yeah I did okay so okay so let me write it down so in the second male squad wait a second can she July 2nd, 2021, level, these people up. Okay, so in the first male squad, we don't have anyone to level up. In the second male squad, we have uh, Salvar and Pilar. Yeah, they definitely need to level up. Or 
our Salvador, that's his name. I also need to fix his leg so he's not like crippled because that's going to take forever for to heal if I don't hack the files. Next is um, Ivar from the third male squad. gotta fix his arm. And then in the fourth male squad we don't have anyone but the fifth male squad we have Nemo and Pedro. We need to turn Pedro into a, into a male too. Okay, and I got that all written down. I have to exit the game in order to hack the game files to make the characters suit my squad more. <laughs> Otherwise, they're really weak and not what I wanted, and yeah. So I'm going to do that like as soon as I'm done playing. So that's basically it for this playthrough. So I'm going to pause and I'm going to save and I'm going to end this live stream right here thank you all so much for watching it's always a lot of fun playing Kenshi and I always love having you guys watch me too so that's basically it don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter Instagram and Tumblr so that's it peace out people